Spurs behind the lines in three, two, one, go. As we get started with the match, the one to keep your eye on is 5010. Their robot's name is T1G3R. That's Tiger and Leet speak. For those who aren't familiar, they seem to have berated their way across the field during the teleop period, but the switch still seems to be in a level configuration. As we move in the teleop period, the humans have picked up their controllers and are now in charge of the robots that they built over the last couple of weeks. Tiber Dynasty now on the wrong side of the field, trying to make their way out of there so they can score additional points for their team. 5402 is successfully scoring a cone in the high or middle part of their grid for their alliance. 5010 successfully leaving their community and ready to score points for their team, heading over to their loading area such that they can score, pick up points from their alliance partners. 829 quickly moving across the field to score a cone on the high part of the grid. Those are worth five points during tally -op. Would have been worth six during an autonomous period. However, that's passed and we're ready for the remainder of the match. We got about a minute and a half remaining. 829 not taking a second to breathe. The digital goats are whizzing across the field using their swerve drive to make sure of quick work of anything that's moving. Hopping right over the charge station. Keeping a watchful eye on everything that's happening on the field. 6998 has a really cool pincer design at the front that helps them flip up game pieces so they can easily grab it with their mechanism. 3147 making their way from their loading area around 5010, who seems to be holding still at the moment, depositing a cone in the middle part of their field for three points. 5402 with their unique gravity relayed mechanism, picking up something from their opponent's loading zone. 1720 fixed gears, making quick work in the center of the field, maneuvering a cone over its charge station, which is rather impressive for a robot of their caliper. 30 seconds remain in the match. We'll start to see teams migrating towards their charge stations. Plenty of points in it for the Red Alliance if they can get that balanced. Not only will they get points in the game, but also extra ranking points for meeting the criteria necessary. 10 seconds remain in the match. We're counting it down. Four, three, two, one. That's game. Looks like we have two robots balanced on each team. We'll have to see how these scores total up.
Let's see your scores for an exciting qualification match 45. And your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 158, that's our new high score for this event. The Finn District event sponsored by the U.S. Airports. Plenty of points in the grid and in penalties.